If we have a triangle, and if I draw a line that's parallel to one of the bases, the question that I'm going to pose is does that create two similar triangles? Well, to do this, we're going to have to say one of our shortcuts, angle angle, side angle side, or side side side, will have to apply in order for us to say that this smaller triangle, DBE, is similar to the larger triangle, ABC. And notice that I've marked our angles 1, 2, 3, and 4. The reason why I did that is because I'm going to say that angles 1 and 2 are corresponding angles, which means that they must be congruent to each other. Since we have a transversal, which is AB, and two parallel lines, 1 and 2 are corresponding angles. In a similar argument, BC is a transversal, where we have two parallel lines, which means angles 3 and 4 must be congruent to each other. And right now we have two angles in each of these triangles, which is enough to say that they must be similar. So, is triangle ABC similar to triangle DBE? Yes, and our shortcut was angle angle. So a couple of interesting things happen here, is we can use the converse of this and say that if you have two lines, and the question is if this line is parallel, then you can say that these two triangles must be similar. In another way of saying that, if these two angles are congruent, and if these two angles are congruent, then you must have parallel lines and you must have two similar triangles. Let's look at two short examples. Right here I have a triangle, and I'm being asked, are we, do we have two similar triangles? Well, if I look at this, we have 70 degrees, 70 degrees, so those are congruent. And we have two other congruent angles, which means we can use the angle-angle shortcut to say that these two must be congruent. Now let's look at one other example. Here we have a triangle, and again, we don't have anything that's marked parallel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to redraw my smaller triangle here. So this is the triangle with the side 4 and the side 6. Now I'm going to set up a proportion between the corresponding sides here. So we have 4 is the side on the left of the smaller triangle, and the larger side is not 8, but it's 12, because the whole length is 12. And then over here we have 6, and the whole side is 18, 6 plus 12. So if I reduce these, 4 twelfths, I can divide those both by 4, and I can get 1 third, and here I can divide both of these numbers by 6, and I get 1 third. So are these triangles similar? And the answer is yes. And our shortcut here would be the side angle side shortcut because they both share this same angle right there, so it has to be congruent to itself. Now one other interesting thing that you should notice is not only are 4 and 12 proportional and 6 and 18 proportional, but if I just looked at 4 and 8, 4 to 8, if I write that ratio over here, is equal to the ratio of 6 to 12. So if you have parallel lines, or if you have one line that's parallel to the base, you will create segments that are proportional to each other. So you don't even need to think about the ratio of 4 to the whole side. You could just say, if we didn't know that length right there, that if this is 6 to 12, then this has to be 4 to some number. And so instead of using 8, we would have x, and we would see that our ratio is double, so to get from 4 to x, we would have to multiply by 2, and then we could find 8. So two key things happen with a parallel line and a triangle. The first key thing is it will create two similar triangles, and the ratio of these sides created by that parallel line will be similar.